Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to insert and use checkboxes in Excel. Now to insert a checkbox you need to have the developer tab in your Excel. If you do not see this tab here are the steps to insert it. You would right click on any of these existing tabs go to customize the ribbon and here in Excel options find the developer you will find it somewhere here in, in the D's click on it click on add and here click on OK. Make sure that the developer tab is checked. Here I have checked it. If I uncheck it, it will go away. But if I check it again and click OK, it will be here. Now in the developer tab, I have the controls group and within which I have insert. If I click on insert, I have these options form controls and ActiveX controls. Here I have the checkbox, which is this checkbox. If I click on it and then I click anywhere in the worksheet see that the cursor has changed if I click anywhere in the worksheet it will insert this checkbox let me zoom in a bit so that you can see it better so this is the checkbox that has been inserted now if I click on this checkbox you can see nothing is going to happen because this checkbox is not linked to any cell in this worksheet so as of now this is practically useless what we need to do is we need to link this checkbox to a cell so that we can track whether it has been checked or not so to do that right click on the checkbox go to format control and here in control you have cell link so I would click here and then I would select the cell to which I want to link this checkbox so in this case let's say it's cell a1 so I click here and now I click OK and see what happens when I check this it gives me true here but when I uncheck this it gives me false so whenever your checkbox is linked to a cell you would have true if the checkbox is linked and false if it is not and now you can use this property to create interactive charts, interactive to-do lists or dashboards. Now let's see an example quickly. Here I have this data ABC limited. These are margin profit margin for these four quarters and I have the data for the competitors as well. Now let's see how to create an interactive chart using those two checkboxes. So what we would do is we would create two checkboxes competitor 1, competitor A and competitor B and then we would see how we can make it interactive. So the first thing I would do here is let me quickly create a simple chart. So I would go to insert, I have selected this data, I go to insert and I insert a simple column 2D chart and now what I would do is I would change these two marker with line. So here I have ABC limited. It says clustered column chart. I want it that way but I want these other two competitors to be these lines. So now this is a chart but this is a static chart. It's based on these values. What I want is to give the user the flexibility to select competitor A and when the user does that the, the line for competitor A should appear and same is the case with competitor B. So to do that let me first insert two checkboxes. I would come here, insert this checkbox here uh, to change the text in this because as of now it says checkbox three. To change this name, uh, right click and go to edit text and here I can type the name which would be comp A. Let me bring it here. Similarly, I can insert another checkbox. Right click, go to edit text and here I can say comp B these are objects so you can if you want you can resize them align them the way you work with shapes and charts now what i want is if i click on competitor a then only the competitor a line should appear before doing that i need to link this so i right click go to format control and here i would link this to let's say cell c8 and let me do this for competitor b as well so i would link this to cell c9 uh, let me name these as well so this is competitor A this is competitor B and now see what happens when I check competitor A true appears here when I check competitor B true appears here and when I uncheck these false comes here now what we would do is instead of using this data set we would use a data set that is dependent on these checkbox values so I would copy this data come here paste this data but delete this part and now recreate this data set. So here for ABC Limited, I want the same data. So I would simply use this. Uh, I have used uh, these links. So I've 
used equal to C3. If you want, you can simply copy paste it here because it's the same. But in case of competitor A, what I would do is I would use an A formula and I would say if this is true, then give me this cell, else give me not available. And let me lock C8 here. So I would press F4 to lock it. And when I copy paste it here see what happens as of now it's giving me a not available error but when I click on this it gives me these numbers similarly I would create another formula here if this is the value then give me this cell else give me not available and let me lock C9 as well now I can simply copy paste it here. Now see what happens when I check competitor B the values appear else the values go away. Now what I would do is instead of using this as these chart let me delete this chart and recreate this chart completely using this data. So I would come here in insert I would insert this chart and then again I would have to change the chart type. So I would make this as line with marker line with marker and I'm not formatting this chart you can do that uh, but I'll show you how this interactivity works so now when I click on comp A you can see that these lines go away because this is not available and these lines are not plotted on the chart but when I click on this this data comes here this becomes available so if you have a lot of chart uh, data points here instead of cluttering the chart you can give the option to the user to check whatever they are interested in maybe this is a department wise uh, margins so if uh, it's say marketing department that they can only check their department and see how they're doing as compared to the entire company and if it's let's say uh, operation department then they can only check their checkbox so this is a great way to create interactive charts the same way you can also create interactive to do lists you can create interactive dashboards where the user can check and the entire dashboard would update now a couple of things I want to show you here I have this checkbox but in case you need more than one checkbox let's say you need five then you can copy this so to copy this you can simply uh, select this checkbox to select it hold the control key and then click on it and it will get selected and then press control D and when you do that it will copy this checkbox you can see that the name within the checkbox is the same it's checkbox one checkbox one and these are linked to the same cell so if I click this you can see even this gets checked and I would have to unlink this and link it to another cell so to do that I right click go to format control and then I would link it to another cell which is let's say this cell here and now when I check this it will be different similarly you can change the name here as well right click go to edit text and change the name now if you want it one way is to do this another way is simply copy pasting the cell so here I can copy the cell and I can come here and then I paste it and when I do that the checkbox also get copied another way of doing this is simply select the cell and drag it down and all the cells will have these checkboxes again these are all linked to the same cell so you would have to unlink these and link it to another cell you can also change these text name as well the last thing that I want to show you here is that these checkboxes have a property where you can I specify that these checkboxes should not move they should remain at their place you may need it in a dashboard where if there is something happening if this if the lines if the rows and columns are getting hidden or unhidden you don't the check you don't want the checkbox to go away or appear so in this case I would right click go to format control and here in properties I have these two options move but do not size with cells so in this case if I change this let's say here you can see that the checkbox is moving I don't want this checkbox to move I want it to be there in the place where it is I would come here format control and I would select this option do not move or size with cells and now this checkbox would remain at its place no matter what's happening to the rows or cells behind it so this is how you can insert and use a checkbox in Excel you can link it to a cell and then can use it in creating interactive charts or interactive dashboards that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day